This one is a new song by one of my favourites. It's a patron vote winner. It's Heilung. Amazing. You need to listen with headphones. So, um, this has been mastered at a lower uh, level than normal releases or modern releases so that you get that um, deeper lower end of the sound you could really hear everything in it and it really works really well you're getting this huge dynamic range and you're really getting resonance throughout all the frequencies that even from the drums feel very resonant and um, all those like lower um, sounds <laughs> and her voice is so resonant in different areas how she moves up I love how she echoes a lot of sounds of animals and nature and we don't hear that a lot in uh, modern singing um i love the kind of rolled r's and the way that da, 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 da. It's, like, it's like it's a bird call essentially it's beautiful <laughs> The imagery is beautiful as well. I love the surround, the panning. So see that um, amulet that she kind of picked up there, the little coin, um, actually the lyrics from this are, they come from these little coins that are found all around Europe, uh, I think from the 4th century, 4th to 7th, I've got written down here, and um, you know, they they think that they were for protection or perhaps have magic spells on them, so they are singing the spells and you totally are cast, put into this spell while listening to this. The It's so... That driving rhythm with all these different vocals, it just, it feels like nature. It feels like the driving force of nature and the way that the voice kind of um, echoes, you know, the birds and all these different animals. There's the kind of fluty sound of the wind in there. It's really beautiful. For this. I mean, it's singing, but. I will keep on going, but it's the combination as well is, is really clever of like modern reverbs um, and you know panning affected all these beautiful things that we can do with sound now and then this really ancient ancient feel they've used modern techniques to great effect and then thrown out modern techniques when it doesn't work, which is great. And it's all about resonance.
That's clever. Really clever. That was so cool. I love how they took off all the reverb. They made it really, really dry. They made it really intimate, really close mic'd. And, and it felt like this really intimate lullaby. And then BAM! We are into that main section. I'm gonna zoom it back a bit to like 3 minutes 13. Let's go. I love those whispers. And then it's like magic. Ah. So I actually talked to um, Jonas Lorentzen who used to work with these guys, used to sing for them and um, he came from, you know, a traditional, uh, actually not traditional, I feel like this is more traditional, but he came from, um, uh, you know, a, a more common form of singing and one of the things that he felt like uh, was tricky was, you know, learning to get really in touch with that kind of animalistic side and just kind of let go of all our preconceived ideas of what singing should be and just be this kind of uh, animal, <laughs> this kind of creature, be part of nature and um, how liberating that was and I've been to see Highline as well, it is so liberating to be there. Um, it kind of feels like you're part of a cult when you're there in a kind of cool amazing way, you're just part of nature and you're part of all this driving beautiful music and um, you can just get carried away. <laughs> Man, she's gonna get bashed by a bison. Ah. I actually feel quite overwhelmed by the end of that. It takes you on this journey. I love the use of reverbs. I love that little um, kind of lullaby section. I love the whispers underneath the interesting um, whispery voice, which is so atmospheric. I love, I love this kind of resonance. Um, you know, this filling of all the frequencies, so you're surrounded by all the frequencies. It's like a hug uh, that kind of lifts you up into the sky. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.